Here's a question a lot of detailers probably get asked and ask themselves. Can I polish paint protection film? Clear bra, whatever you want to talk about. If you know, you know. If you don't, we're going to explain a little bit. Uh, this Audi, it has clear bra paint protection film on it. The guy used adhesive remover. He tried to remove some things, scratched it up to heck. I'm joined by Ivan LaCroix. We're going to talk about the do's and don'ts of polishing on PPF. So what we see is the customer had something on it and used a sort of body shop type solvent to try to get it off of there. And what we see is actually his finger marks everywhere. Oh, it's kind of nasty. I don't know what people can see. It, yeah, it's nasty. So we're just going to throw a bit of a waterless wash on it. Or rinseless wash. Rinseless, yeah. I believe this is Eco Wash from Owner's Pride. So this is what I had sitting around. Oh, look at that gorgeous foaming action, huh? It smells purple, so. You love the smell of Owner's Pride Eco Wash. All right. This whole hood is uh, PPF. Yeah. So. No stress to be had. What's that? <laughs> no stress to be had. We're going to be polishing this off. Exactly. It's not a big deal. These are Costco Kirkland towels. That's the, that's the Hawk Pro Detailing Special. The go-to towel. Uh, you know what? Sometimes it's just, is it clean? Is it cheap? We know we're going to be polishing this out. We're not overly concerned. So yeah, there's a bit of dirt on it. A little bit of dirt. Or the PPF is all messed up. All right, what do we need to know about, about polishing PPF? Um, the ins and outs of it. Be gentle. You don't want to, you're not going to correct 100% and don't even think about it. We're just trying to give it its gloss back. And, <coughs> you know, for us, we see a lot of defects on here. Oops. Guess it was already up. Not used to this bottle. But anyways. So there I we provided go. Ivan with everything that he's using here. These aren't Ivan uh, recommended products, but we've got the Flex PXC80. It's cordless. I want to do this outside. That's why yep. I'm using it. We're using a couple of Rupes products. Um, so the goal here so is So Rupes what? products on a flex polisher. Well, Great. Yeah, exactly. Rupes and flex. They can get along. No arguments. What's the goal? First of all, way too much. You put some rinseless on there. Yeah. And what I, was the thought there? Just to lubricate the pad. Okay. Just to be super safe on PPF? I always... I never like a dry pad. Dry pads are not good for anyone. And that's so all. That's yeah. why we use the Costco. So as you can see, I'm using a lot of pressure. So let's not take that towel off the ground and get another towel. I think a lot of people are going to be scared about polishing PPF. Because you want to take out all the defects, but that's just not possible, is it? No. So right now, we're at a good 70% improvement. Oh, yeah. So I mean, I see DA haze, but that's actually underneath the PPF. That's from the lot or the, the installer. Well, uh, that and, and... There's some deeper scratches in there, but when you compare it to the hazy crap from where he was... I hope, oh, I hope you can see this. Okay, so this is the haze. Move on over. It ain't perfect, but it's so much better, especially for a quick and dirty job. Yeah. Wow. You know, this is one of Nick's neighbors at his shop. He wasn't expecting anything from this. So for him, this will be a spectacular improvement. What should people promise or not promise if a customer says, hey, can you polish my PPF? I'll try. No guarantees. If it works, great. If it doesn't, change the piece of PPF. And the PPF, what are they polishing on? Why should or shouldn't they be aggressive? Basically, PPF is comprised of multiple layers, so you don't want to break off that top layer, or else basically you screwed up the PPF. So you're not, you don't want to put any heat to it, 
You don't want to over braid it. You just want to use a finishing polish and light pressure or no pressure, low speed. Don't want to create heat. Don't want to create pressure. Don't want to create more defects than you're trying to remove. Because you can permanently, what, haze up PPF or what can you do to You it? can haze it. You can remove the self-healing layer to it. There's a lot of bad stuff you can do to PPF when you're polishing it. What should I watch out for with older PPF, especially in terms of polishing it? Uh, stay away from it. <laughs> when it's dried and cracked, there's nothing you can do anyways. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's finish this up. detailer out there yep. who may not even know what they're looking for, how do they tell if there's PPF on the paint? The customer is probably going to tell you because they paid a lot of money for the PPF. Secondly, you can look at things like edges, uh, corners. So here the PPF installer rounded the corner here so we have the paint underneath and the PPF on top. That's a pretty poor, I mean that's already coming off isn't it? Yeah. You can feel it underneath here as well. Yeah. Basically, and I knew this, I was kind of playing dumb, but yeah, yeah. You, you check the corners, you check under the hood, you just look for what, what the telltale sign is. Right. And like I said, the customer's going to tell you because they paid for it anyways. Is this a good PPF job or does it appear to be a poor one? Eh, every PPF job starts off good. It's how they seal the edges and everything that make it more apparent or less apparent over time. see the scratch right into here. And I'll just do half. How much pressure did you put on that? None. Wow, look, look, this is where the line of demarcation is. Let's get closer. Okay, you see that scratch right there? Scratch, 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 scratch. Gone. I didn't think you were gonna get that one. So, that's pretty incredible with just a polish and the yellow pad. You're not getting everything. No. But the difference is, is a nice shine. The nice shine, you've basically round o rounded over the edges of the scratches so the customer doesn't see it anymore. And that's what's important. The customer will be happy. So we have now a shiny hood. We don't see the marks anymore that were on there. That deep scratch or deeper scratch wasn't really that deep, but the long scratch that we had here is gone. Customer's happy. The customer actually came out here. It's one of Nick's neighbors in his complex. Makes great ice cream, by the way. Uh, What's the name of the company? Rooney's. Or Ronnie's? Rooney's? Rooney's Ice Cream. Not yeah. sponsored, but yeah. certainly they're a big deal. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, no. I mean, when you look at the paint, every other panel, like the doors, okay, it's a nice looking Audi, whatever, here we go. But then you kind of see the gloss on that hood. Yep. And that was just a light polish, not going after scratches. No, it's PPF. You don't want to dig into the PPF. We're just wanting to make it look better make the customer happy. Now he's got a shiny hood again. He doesn't see what he did on the weekend with the, uh, the very aggressive chemical and his fingers. So that's where those marks came from. More black polishing paint videos to come. <laughs> Click on the top right of your screen. Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing.